Today I wanted to highlight one of the new features in Lotus Symphony 3 Beta 3. And when you start Beta 3 for the first time, you're going to notice the Lotus Live logo down here in the bottom. And what IBM has provided is a plugin that allows files to be opened and saved directly to Lotus Live. So if we look at my Lotus Live account that I've already signed into, you can see I have a bunch of documents in the files section. I have two documents, uh, PowerPoint presentations. One is private and one is shared. I have two uh, open document presentations from uh, Lotusphere 2007 presentations and I have a PDF. Now when I come over to Lotus Symphony 3 and I open the Lotus Live plugin, you'll notice that we can see the four editable documents that I had in Lotus Live the private presentation and the shared one and the two uh, open document presentations. Because the PDF isn't editable, it doesn't display. And I can double click on one of these and open the document directly. Right there, live in edit mode. Now I can create a new document. So I'll create a new Lotus Symphony document. This is IBM And I can save that document locally. We'll call this Lotus Live demo and I can come over here and click the upload button and when I refresh this we'll refresh the browser you can see that the demo there has loaded as well so, seeing a bit of a delay over here, what I'm going to do is just close Lotus Symphony and we'll reopen it. Open the plugin, refresh the list, and you can see it right there. So, still beta, still uh, a little bit of uh, things to work out, but some great functionality. I can also, from here, share it click the sharing, and if I wanted to, I could enter names directly. So this has been an overview of the Lotus Live plugin for IBM Lotus Symphony 3 Beta 3.